If you're wondering how this works, it's pretty simple. I'm just gonna play the game. With cheats! Yeah, that's it. A hundred days of Minecraft, but I can do anything I want at any moment. First thing I did was hack myself in some netherite armor. Tell me in a comment what you would do if you could do anything. After getting some simple gear like netherite blocks and enchanted golden apples, I teleported myself right to where the dragon lives. I don't know why people say speedrunning's tough. It's pretty simple if you ask me. It took me 14 minutes to kill the dragon, which is still five minutes behind the world record. That's insane. Eh, there's still some time left in day one. Let's see if I can gank the wither. However, the wither almost ganked me. That would have been embarrassing. I was fine, hacked myself, strength 100, and killed him in one shot. All right, one more boss. We're in the ancient city. Come on out, warden. With resistance 100, his attacks just bounce off of me. It's not even fair. But then again, I am cheating. To my surprise, even with strength 100, it took two hits to kill the warden. That's impressive. Really not sure what to do now, so I teleported myself 10,000 blocks up to think. What do you do when you can do anything? And what do you do when you've done everything? It took me so long to fall down, now it's day two. Let's see what I'll get into. There was a town right by spawn. Figured I'd fly over and see what was up. Unfortunately for these villagers, upon inspection of their town, it has several flaws. So today I started the Downtown Rejuvenation Project. You had to have known with this awesome power I wouldn't have gone two days without blowing something up. It was all very laggy, no sound, no damage, but in the end, no villagers. All through the night I flew off for another town. Hopefully they'll be perfect or else. Found this hilly town. Kinda nice. I will bless them. First thing I did was reposition the sun to make it day three. Then I spawned more villages next to the village. Unfortunately, this code ain't perfect and there was a lot of ugly spots. Well, let's see if a mansion will fix it. I like it. Mostly because it's far above them all. Insignificant specs. All of them. But if I'm gonna live here, I can't have skeletons or goats in my house. It's time to clear this thing out. I got it done fast because I made myself faster. Wow. The field of view gave me a headache. I don't want to show too much of this footage. Got it done by the end of the night and then slept, even though I didn't need to. I wasn't recording for a day. It doesn't really matter. All I did was put frog lights on the roof. Day five was spent trying to find a place in this mansion to fit a disposal unit. I don't really need storage because I have cheats. I can just spawn whatever I want whenever I need it. But I will say my inventory always gets clogged, so disposal would be nice. Problem is, the walls are so thin in this mansion, it's hard to hide it. Took all day just to get a simple disposal system in, and I hate it. The logical next step was to salt the earth. I dubbed this completely natural formation the Notable Canyon. Day six, I found another town. This one had a nice flat area where I could definitely build a house. But after putting down some end stone, I looked at everything and had a thought. The only being that needs to be happy is me, so I'm gonna forget the villagers and build my own land. So I went out to the middle of the ocean and spawned myself a big platform of bedrock. I'm not sure if you can tell, but there was no plan for any of this video. Even now, I'm really not sure what I'm doing. It's all just kind of coming to me on the fly. But I gotta be honest, having everything at my disposal isn't easy. It's actually hard. I have access to every block in the game and this is what I came up with, and I don't like it. I left my incomplete build out in the ocean because that night I realized what's important. I don't need a house or base or even walls in this playthrough. I'm essentially immortal. However, I can build my house in a way that makes my powers more easily accessible. And that's what I'm trying to do here. You see that diamond block surrounded by gold? Well, its coordinates are exactly 69, 69, 69. It's just simple coordinates to remember so I can always teleport home quickly. It looks a little off just floating there, but I know I had to build that first. I'm gonna cover the outside of the house in diamond shingles because I know for a fact it makes people mad. And if you're one of those people that gets mad at something like this, just know that you're as powerless to stop me as those villagers. Netherite might be more expensive, but we all know that a diamond house is more classic. Took me all day to place these diamond blocks. I guess I could have gone into creative, but I wanted to get used to using cheats. Tiled the base, because it's an easy pay-to-win way to make your floor look nice. I'm gonna call the first floor done for now, but if you've ever played Minecraft, you'll know I'll basically be changing this every day. Now I'm working on a basement, and I'm gonna frame it out with bedrock. A bold idea, but one that I must do. This will give me plenty of room to build a disposal system, though those mansions are worthless. Day 11, it's time for some uncharted territory. This will be the first time I ever mess with command blocks. A command block essentially allows you to activate a cheat with the press of a button or flick of a switch. Here I was trying to make a button that would give me every effect, at least the good ones, but apparently you can't do that. In case you were wondering, I'm new to this old cheating thing. So it looks like I'm gonna need a bunch of command blocks, and for that I gotta build out the basement. Nothing too ornate. It's a basement, I'll keep it builder grade. I know I said I was gonna play with command blocks, but I got distracted. I need disposal. Got it done. It looks nice and I'm happy I built my house custom. All right, back to commanding. All the wiring is gonna be under the house. They work like any other redstone block, so I was able to pick this up pretty quickly. And by the end of the day, I had created what I'll call the notable button. Press the button and you'll get all the best effects in the game, becoming notable. It would probably take me a whole day just to type in the commands for these effects, so a button is super helpful. And I know this kind of came out of nowhere, but it's time to say goodbye to the Alex skin.
Yep, I've got my own skin now. Made it myself, if that wasn't completely obvious. I'm now officially a Minecraft YouTuber. Before this, I was most known for my Zoo Tycoon. I doubt you'd even notice if I didn't tell you I don't show my skin too often. Today, I'm building a chimney, one that I'll jump out of at maximum force. So now when I press this button, I get jump boost 100 and can launch myself into the air. It's real convenient for flying around. I can simply blast myself into the sky. It's also very fun. Looking back, I could have just made a button that teleports me a thousand blocks into the air. That would have got me higher. But no near is enjoyable. Finally, putting a roof on the house, day 14, and even with cheats, roofing is tough. That's a joke, but it's also true. This chimney made me want to smite a village. Roof's done. And don't worry, there'll definitely be more smiting. What's a house without a bathroom? That's what I'm building, day 15. The only issue was where to put it. Now you may be sitting there at home thinking to yourself, Mr. Notable, you don't have a butthole. Why do you need a bathroom? While I very much appreciate your concern of my defecation, I'll be making a shower. It's an XP shower, so I can fix my armor and wings in style. After making a bathroom, I finalized the upper floor. Maybe I should have made my house bigger, but oh well, it's built. Yeah, it doesn't really have a bedroom, but I also don't really need to sleep, so I'm okay with it. These early days are obviously a little chaotic. Now I'm at 6666666 to build a nether portal. Mining is lame! I use explosions! I got to the nether and started instantly blowing it up as well. That was kind of a mistake. I completely wrecked everything. My home nether portal is now surrounded by pillars of lava and is very hard to find. Great. Maybe more explosions will fix the issue. Huh generally works for America. Well, while I'm out here, might as well get some nether achievements. I know I'm in the cheats playthrough, but I still want them. I could not believe how lucky I was. The first chest I ever searched in the nether had pig step in it. Oh wait, no, that's that's the wrong clip. You saw nothing! There's no achievement for blowing up the nether. I just like doing it. Day 19, I switched out my sword for a trident. I like the idea of spawning lightning bolts. Lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! That was about it for the day, but get used to it. Almost all of these days, I terrorize the locals. Got more nether achievements, day 20. It's not interesting, I cheated. Not sure what happened, but day 21 doesn't exist. But the very fact that it doesn't exist means that it does exist. Day 22, all day, I tried to make myself a custom potion, but the commands are a little bit tricky. So yeah, a lot of this day is me inside the text chat and command blocks. Somehow I think day 21 is more interesting. None of it worked. I really tried. I'm trying to build a mega super ultra giga horse. Not because I need it, because I thought it would be fun. I guess if you splash him with a potion of speed, it makes him faster, but it didn't work for me. Day 24, I was going for the end achievements and found this weird half-generated end ship. Imagine going for your first elytra and this is what you find. Doing some villager-based achievements today, there's a few. Then of course, erased all evidence of me being there. I made a friend, day 26. I willed him into existence for an achievement. However, that night, while playing with lightning, he died. Rest in peace, parrot. You will be missed. Did some exploring day 27, and by exploring, I mean teleporting to different biomes for an achievement. I also stopped to smell the roses and erase civilizations. More of that day 28, it ain't too interesting. And after another whole day of going to different biomes, I've got one left, and I don't know which one it is. So I'm gonna cheat. It's not like I haven't already. I'm gonna change the world file so that I should have the achievement. I'm just gonna set done from false to true. Everything reset. That's what I get. Someone will suffer for this. They definitely won't deserve it but they will suffer. I found myself a village and now I'm off screen calculating the maximum amount of TNT that I can spawn at one time. I found what worked best for me was spawning it in a big old sheet like this. Though I did point it away from the village. That was a mistake. Yeah, this way you get maximum coverage with one command and I guarantee you that whole village is history. How many more days are you gonna spend blowing things up? Yes. Oh yeah, real nice crater, just shaved off the top. So now I kinda just wanna make a nuke. It's the natural progression of things, isn't it? First I went very far away and then made a simple command block that spawns 40,000 TNT every press. Then I pressed it 25 times to make a million TNT. This is what one million TNT looks like and it may just fry my whole computer. After lighting, I was hardly able to fly away before my game turned into a slideshow. The game crashed and when I came back, everything was still there. Don't worry, I'm setting off this nuke if it kills me. Ooh, that's weird. There's exploded TNT in the middle. My plan this time was to go very far away from the nuke, you can hardly even see it, and spawn a redstone block on top of it. That's how I'll light it. At first it seemed fine, but that's probably because the chunks aren't loaded. So I slowly started flying towards it, and you know, I could tell immediately when I loaded those chunks. My computer would not let me leave Minecraft for the next 30 minutes while my most powerful fireworks show ever was shown to me at one frame per minute. This was the last thing I saw before the game crashed. After loading back in, that's what I saw. I'm a little bit afraid to go near it. Well, now I guess I know what a million TNT will do to Minecraft. I recommend you try this at home. At a certain point, the game remembered that it got nuked and then it crashed again. I just went home. If you download this world, 
don't go to 8,000, 8,000. All right, I think I got that out of my system. I'm back home, gonna do a little landscaping. Clearing trees is an easy process when all you have to do is think and the tree is gone. However, I just remembered that I'm using cheats. No need for manual labor. Now it's leveled. I'm never gonna have to lift another finger again. That's so nice. I may have also figured out that I can spawn fire that's dangerous for the entire ecosystem. The trees that were tall enough to not be erased by my mind powers get to live. Congratulations. I also made a bit more of a parrot monument, but I'm gonna be honest, it's a bit much. He doesn't deserve that. Listen, he's lucky he gets a stone block at all. Today, I also tried to put a village back in that big crater, and as you can see, it didn't go well. Sorry, villagers. This is your fault. I'm mostly just cleaning up the ocean. Day 38, that village left a bunch of high water pillars. Day 39, I made a simple contraption that pushes the notable button for me every day at sunrise. And all I did day 40 was build a machine that gave me the maximum XP level. Went out exploring day 41 and found an untouched little village right near my home. And I'm gonna touch it. Of course, I immediately went to experimenting and spawned every village type on a single block. They don't live in harmony. They're all very racist. There's lots of dirt where dirt shouldn't be and tons of villagers suffocated in the process, but I like it. Part of this spruce town spawned inside this cave. That's kind of fun for me, not the villagers. And to top it all off at night, I started a raid. What a great way to kick off this town's incorporation. Yeah, the ender dragon made an appearance. It was quite the to-do. What a fantastic block party. This could not have gone better. Still here, day 42. Gotta finish up the raid for an achievement and the pillagers are hiding all over. It's not hard in the slightest. They couldn't hurt me if they tried. I pressed the notable button. I did it! I saved the city! Hooray! Then I built a contraption that has absolutely no purpose because all the other ones definitely had a purpose. Be not the same, villagers. The notable one is here for you. This is normally the part where I blow everything up. But I'm not gonna do that today. There's already a notable canyon. Plus, I need these insignificant creatures for achievements, and that's what I did day 43. There's an achievement for trading with a villager at the build height. That's a fun one. While I was at the build limit, I decided to get another achievement of falling from the build limit all the way down to the bottom of the map. I can fall from 10,000 blocks and not get hurt, but it's still interesting to watch me do the actual falling. Don't know why I didn't get the achievement, though. I thought maybe I had to fall into water, but that didn't work either. And then here, while trying to teleport back up to my platform, I accidentally misplaced a negative. I'm a little embarrassed, sure, but I am showing it to you. I kind of thought I would die in this playthrough at some point. It's very ironic that cheats ended up killing me. But remember, I'm immortal. Death is simply a temporary state. All I gotta do is put myself back into spectator mode and then change the game to survival. After that, I went home and went to bed. That was a weird day. He cheated, guys! I saw he brought himself back to- Oh wait, no, that's the point. It's fine. It's totally fine. <laughs> What's next? Figured I'd get back on the achievement grind today. Shame I lost it all earlier, but I was cheating. Breeding animals today. Not sure why I tried to find them in the wild. Make more of yourself, donkeys, or I will unmake you. At the end of the day, I triple 69 and was back home. I've never made a glow sign before, even in normal Minecraft, but now I have. I have all the power in the world, but still have to fish like a normie for an achievement. And got a stick! Banged out a bunch more achievements today. They're really not hard when you can make anything happen at any time. Day 46, I'm gonna try to get the achievement for taming all cat variants. And you gotta know when step one is dig a pit. It's never gonna end well. Kind of just spawned a bunch of cats in the pit and would tame them. It wasn't that hard. Problem was, I wasn't sure exactly what cats I had and didn't have and there's just too many to even tell. Oh, Maria. It's in the public domain. No one can sue me for that. Now I need a black cat, but can't Spawn one. Hello, I'm here for your animal. Didn't find a black cat in the witch hut, but I guess you can spawn him here. Nice. This one, this one will live. I put a campfire where they all died as a memorial. I don't care that much. Now I'm doing the nether achievements. My goal was to do them all in one day. Let's see if I can. Now right here, you gotta believe me. And I know this is a video of me cheating constantly, but right here, this is true. That chest has pig step in it. I don't even have that in 3000 days. Shame I found it in this playthrough. Looking at it, I can confirm this is real. When I open the chest, I get the achievement war pigs. So I couldn't have possibly opened up that chest and put pig step inside. Feels weird proving that I didn't cheat in a video all about cheating. Day 48 installed an end portal inside of my basement. That's just weird. But I don't know why we can't do this in regular Minecraft. There's even fewer end achievements than nether achievements. This should only take a day. It took half a day, but honestly, you could do that without cheats. A lot of other little achievements too. Some as simple as rubbing up on honey. Everyone always cheats bullseye, even without cheats enabled. Had to do some warden related achievements and decided to wake him up with TNT. That's fun. Killing the warden should be an achievement. I don't know why it's not. You'd be surprised how hard it is to activate a totem when you're omnipotent. The food 
achievement in normal Minecraft is one of the hardest, but when you have cheats, it's so easy. There's a whole menu with every food. POV, you told grandma you're hungry. You know what's funny? I'm looking through all my achievements and I don't even have the first one. What's that even for? Despite my past with this achievement, I'm gonna try it again and I'm not sure why I'm not getting it. I just went into creative and dug a new hole at the absolute bottom of the map. Maybe that'll work. And that did it. Pro tip for everyone trying to do that achievement. Now just don't teleport yourself into the void. Had a few more animals to breed too, so I knocked that off in a new pit. Amazing grace, the rights to this song are free. I think that's the last time I'll sing, but I know you want more. Day 51, I bred turtles, which is a very long and annoying process that takes all day. Can't wait for y'all to grow up so I can slay you. That was the last animal breeding achievement and I've got Taurus here to make a turtle sound. Hmm. All right. So the last achievement is the one that was my downfall the last time. I gotta find all the biomes. I found a list of all the biomes and one by one teleported to all of them. Oh, I did make a quick stop in the jungle to burn it all down. Most of today's footage looks like this, just numbers and text. Even teleporting directly to every biome took a long time. There's quite a lot of them. It was a lot. That's why I stopped and took breaks to burn things. Like last time, I still have one more biome. Oh no. So I took a little time, looked at the world data, and was missing warm ocean. Here, I got the achievement. Okay, so yes, I do have all the achievements, but there are technically some secret ones. One is air ballistic, which involves getting a pentakill on five different animals. Not hard, just requires a lot of setup. And the last achievement in the game, how did we get here, involves getting every effect applied at the same time. It's an absolute nightmare of an achievement, but I am gonna get it with a single button press. It wasn't even that difficult to wire, I just lined up a bunch of command blocks. I did mess up. I wanted to press a button, but accidentally powered the redstone. Oh well, the button's still hooked up, so if you ever wanted to have your screen look like this, you can. Speaking of, if you want to check out my world, there's a download link in the description. Java only. Sorry, bedrockers. But that's it. All the achievements. Now what do I do? Oh, I know exactly what I'm doing. There's no way to cheat creativity. I'm building a machine with command blocks that will hopefully make me immortal. I mean, I'm already immortal but this will make me more immortal. Every morning at sunrise, this machine will change the game mode from spectator to survival. So if I were to die, and I did, I killed myself here, in the morning, I would come back to life, all automatically. I can still die, so I'm technically mortal, but I'll always come back to life. I'm not sure what that would make me. There is no day 57, just day 58, where I'm dressing up my totem of everlasting life. All it really needs to be is a light detector in the ground, but that would be boring. I used soul sand because it protects my very soul and gold because I'm seven. You know, at the beginning of this video, I said I wanted to answer the question, what does one do when you've done everything? Lots of retired people like golf, so I decided to build my own course. At first I thought about using arrows, but when you go to try to find your arrows, sometimes they can be very hard to see. So all I ended up doing today was setting up the first hole. I'm hoping to have nine by the end. Had an idea that instead of using bows, I'm gonna use tridents and this machine will dispense them. When you throw a trident, it's much easier to see it in the ground, which makes playing golf actually possible. Yeah, so once I got that figured out, it was time to make some more holes. Country club construction continued day 61. I've also got a new rule, in addition to no villagers on the course. On my course, official rules state you don't score unless you hit this pole. I know there's lots of ways to play Minecraft golf, and that's how I'm gonna do it. The purple hole's gonna be a fun one. It goes over this massive pit, and yeah, if you're wondering, that's a natural formation. I'm only halfway done, but I really enjoyed making this. If you're ever bored in a Minecraft world, make a golf course. Day 62, I set up this white hole that has hole in one potential. That's a fun concept. Thing is, if you want to risk it, you better not miss. There's a giant cliff and water on the other side. The pink hole also has hole-in-one potential, but it's a little less dangerous. Truly, I hope one of you downloads the world and sinks one. Got it all done today. This nine-hole course ends at the diamond flag. And for the first time in a while, I was actually excited to get up in the morning. Today, I'm playing golf. Let's see how I do. Hole one, I missed slightly. Could have done that better. Made up for it with hole two. It's very easy to overshoot hole three and kill a villager, but I didn't. Hole four is the one with the giant pit. It's probably my favorite. Hole five's over the river. It looks far, but just believe in yourself. You can clear it. Hole six could be that hole in one. Seriously, download the world. I'd love to see you pull it off. I was pretty close, but I'll get par off that. Hole seven looks really far, but I swear it can be done in one shot. Hole eight could definitely lead you back into the pit, but I made this course and was prepared. And hole nine's a long one, but it takes you back home. The course is a par 30, and in the end, I scored a 26.
Download the world and see if you can beat me. I will say, in order to get into the country club, you must be subscribed to me. I was incredibly proud of my creation, so now this isn't me playing. This is Tors. She was doing pretty good until she lost a trident in the pit, but that's kind of the point of the pit. And this is why you should never golf during a thunderstorm. A creeper might blow up the course. After those two little hiccups, she did great and had fun. Though, she could just be telling me that because she likes me. By the end of the day, she scored a 33, which for her first day, playing trident golf is very, very notable. She then looked around my world and asked several questions questions that I didn't really have a good answer for. She also paid her respects to Parrot. Oh boy, my life feels empty again. Whatever shall I do? It was a bit of a risk doing this, but this land is very flat and it might just work if I spawn a village. One house spawned a little close to my land, but it took me no time at all to erase this family's equity. Yeah, success. Most of the village looks normal. There's definitely some weird stuff, but nothing that can't be fixed. There's a lot of holes to fill up. Seems like there were some explosions of unknown origin. There's also a well that babies will definitely fall into and drown. And I have no idea what happened here. I'm gonna do my best. I'll say the worst part is zombies keep invading, because I always have night vision on and can't tell when it gets dark. Luckily, because of my awesome power, that's a problem I can solve. It's an incredibly simple design, a daylight sensor on top of a command block. As soon as that daylight sensor detects any bit of darkness, it immediately becomes day. The sun will never set on my empire. And now I don't have to put lights everywhere, because that's annoying. Just cleaning stuff up today, can't have dirty land for day 69. I really gotta be careful with my awesome might. Here I was just placing cobblestone and a villager died. I was just roofing when my new machine made it day 69. I hope that doesn't get annoying. I figured day 69 would be the perfect day for reproduction. I ain't worried about overpopulation, I can simply just kill them Oh, I don't think I will, but I'm not saying I won't. Gonna have to get used to this reset thing. I got sent into spectator mode and then into the ground. Ah, oh, well, I just triple 69 and got out. A lot of day 70 is just wiring up command blocks, and I don't really want to tell you what for. I just kind of want to show you what it does. Here's the first test. It's supposed to teleport me to the village with a little bit of style. This will for sure kill villagers, but that's the point. Then all I did for the rest of the day was hit the button some more. I'm very proud of myself. It appears I've angered the golems with my achievement of apotheosis. To put it more simply, Simply, I'm a certified baller and the haters are mad. I could end you with a breath, and I will. Right by the town I created is a tiny little sand island. So I put a village there. You're welcome for living. Yeah, it's nice to have more people to bully so close to home. I guess I'm also making a tree. All right. I use cheats to change this jungle tree into an oak tree. How unholy. I'm gonna prune off all those vines and see how it looks. I can always burn it down. I spent a lot longer on this tree than I thought I would. Went well into day 73. Changed all the leaves and the logs into oak and... Honestly, I really like it. It's interesting. This one would definitely be a pain in the ovaries in survival. Changing out all those leaves and logs would take a while. But call me inspired. I like it. One thing I realized about my house day 74 is it has no boundaries. It's just sort of there. I don't need a wall, but I'm gonna make one. And I've never used these prismarine walls and they kind of match the house. Turtle, you got about three seconds to move before I erase you. They did not move. But I warned them. After doing the front, I wanted a backyard, so I got to shoveling. There it is, my sanctuary. Still have no idea what I'm gonna put back there. Cleaned it up day 75. I'm not a huge fan of the giant retaining wall, but I'm working with what I got. The front yard's looking pretty good too, and now I won't have to smite any more villagers entering my land. But that was about all I got done today. The days are much shorter when they end at the first sign of darkness. You know, I just realized there's no good way to get over to the golf course without flying. Sorry, it's very easy to forget about all the normies. I don't have the time or the patience to build an ornate bridge, so it's getting a simple road. I think the only reason this ends up working is because it's next to a diamond house. That's not all, I also wired up this pressure plate to make you go across it real fast. It just gives you one second of speed 255, that's all you need. You don't want it for more than a second, doing anything is quite tough. Hello village, 50,000 blocks away, do you want to know what I'm doing today? So if you look at the thumbnail of this video, there's a destroyed village in the background. And this was the concept art. I found a really nice frame within about a minute because photography is the easiest art form that exists. Insert joke about California. I was able to get a bunch of different screenshots before it rained and then the fire went out. All right, I know what I'm putting in the backyard now. Myself. I build monuments to myself when I don't have magical and otherworldly powers. What makes you think I would skip one in this playthrough? Mm. Notable. Simply notable. I have more ideas. They're in my head. I cannot get them out. Spent today making an intersection, because of course I'm gonna want to go inside myself, but I'm also going to involve some redstone. Just so you know, if you'd ever like to enter me, this is where my hole is. Structure's all done, day 80, now it's time for that redstone. I bet you're wondering what I'm gonna do. No amount of cheats will ever make it easy to fit redstone into a confined area. It's probably the element of redstone that I strive for and struggle with the most. Take your time, stay organized, and put your redstone on colored blocks. It helps. Took me all day to wire it up, and here it is. 
lightning in my hand to further scare those villagers. I know, I know, the villagers are computers, incapable of fear, but sometimes I like to believe they feel. The redstone's not done though, I'd pinch it if I covered it up. That's embarrassing. Unpinching my organs, day 82, every time I moved something, lightning bolts came out. This is now easily my new favorite monument, all the other ones don't even come close. I wasn't recording for a day and now there's a bastion near my land, what even happened? I'm trying to make a combat arena, but didn't want to build one, so I hacked in a few bastions. Don't worry, don't worry, the people will be safe, there's gonna be a cobblestone wall around the property. Almost all of this structure was built with commands, I think I'm getting a little better with it. It only took 80 days. So there's a section in the middle where I'm gonna put command blocks and hopefully I can have different difficulty settings. I'm gonna spawn stuff in with command blocks because it's all I ever do, but can you really blame me? They're awesome. Now getting the redstone signal to the command blocks was one thing, but here I am trying to set up different difficulty settings and it was a lot harder than I imagined in my head. I think if I gave myself more time it would have all worked flawlessly, however that isn't really the theme of this video. So far I've been kind of throwing stuff together using the cheat menu and seeing what happens. I think next to my house this was the thing I spent the most time on, but look at that redstone it makes my brain hurt. First test day 86, that's the easy mode. Looks pretty easy to me. I should probably pick monsters that don't burn in sunlight because it's always sunny here. I switched over to pillagers, they don't die in sunlight and I like the aesthetic of them in the arena. It works very very well, but if you ever download the world, never pull the endless lever. It's a mistake. I mean, if you press the notable button, it's not an issue. You'll never die. But I could feel the game getting noticeably laggier every second that this button was active. They almost overrun the entire arena. I had to switch it off. It's a lot of fun though, which is the whole reason I built the arena. This is a mission successful. So now it works, but it looks a little thrown together because it was. I'm gonna try to fix that in a day. Hey, this time I didn't forget the people who can't fly. I remembered how inferior they are and built a bridge. I mostly just wanted to seal the whole thing up. Can't have anything getting out. And here? Here I will put a piston door. I hope. All right, all right, I scrapped the piston door idea. There's too much water and I'm not good enough. It's a piston wall. That's at least a little safe if anyone happens to flip the endless switch. After about another day and a few curse words later, it's totally functional. My piston wall is complete. <laughs> Put a giant on top of the structure. These things exist, but they just never got coded. It's a shame, it'd be cool. It wasn't really looking the right way though, and I'm not sure that I can change that. Well, I hope you enjoyed life. Then I completely forgot I had Bad Omen, went to the village, started a raid. I didn't forget. I knew exactly what I was doing. Pillagers can't spawn inside of a village, so really the only area they could spawn in was this big open field near my house. It made the raid very easy, but also kind of boring. The raid would have been easy regardless, I can't die. Oh well, pillagers, maybe next time. Good game, good game, good game. Somehow I'm still coming up with ideas to build things. Today I was hoping to make a firework machine. The hope was to have this machine pump out unlimited fireworks forever. Not sure if it's possible, but I'm gonna try. Hey, at least it's making fireworks now and that won't ever get annoying. I tried all day 91 to make it unlimited, but couldn't seem to get it to work. So it's definitely not possible. I didn't look it up. I just know. I'm perfect. So this will be alive for like three more days before it dies. Like my daughter's pet sea monkeys. Day 92 doesn't exist, so we're going straight to day 93. This was a fun one. I hacked in this straight path into the ocean from the town. Didn't take too long, I used commands. Then I put command blocks on both ends, that'll give you a maximum speed. And it's a lot of fun to run down this path. Yeah, that's it. No gimmick, no trick. Sometimes, you just gotta go fast. It looks weird on the lowest render distance, I gotta say. I really wanted to build more things for people who download the world, so day 94, I built a jump course. Please try it. It's 100% completable. I'd never prank you like that. It's not super long, just goes across this lake here, but it's got a decent view of everything I've built. Kinda looks like art with the rainbow. I'm happy with it. Day 95, I will be putting water in the nether. That's it. That's all I'm doing today. If there's one thing in this video that's an absolute display of my true power, it's this. Yeah, like I said, that's it. That's all I'm doing. I think my monuments miss missing something, and I have an idea. Spent the day wiring up an altar, where if you throw something into it, a villager is spawned, but at 360 blocks into the air, and it falls down right into my hand. Now you can turn every block of cobblestone you got while mining into a fresh new villager. What? Yeah, I mean, that's good and all, but what if I want more? Put some more redstone inside my chest, and now, well, let me just show you. Yeah, that's more like it. This is why Minecraft was created. Yeah, I'm happy with my new skin. I hope you are too. But I'll be honest, I don't care. Well, it's been nice, but today I've decided that I no longer want to live. 
in Minecraft. I have found that after a hundred days of playing with cheats, no matter what I create, I will never feel as satisfied as playing the game with honor. So I'm trying to make myself not alive anymore in Minecraft. But it's hard because I can't really die. So I'm gonna make a machine that makes this world unplayable. You press a button and it's over. Day 99 was played in another world to test this thing out because I'm not quite ready to hit the button yet. Gotta make it to day 100. How it works is when I power this redstone circuit, I'll be repeatedly teleported into the void. If I'm in survival, it'll kill me. And if I'm in spectator or creative mode, I'll just be constantly teleported here. I can't do anything. There's likely a way around it, but it's the best I could think of. Day 100. And there was never any doubt that I would get here, but there was definitely some questions about what I would do. I had a ton of fun with this. Gave me a lot of inspiration for other videos that I might do in the future. Obviously, a lot of this isn't possible in normal Minecraft, but it still inspired me. Check out the world download with a link in the description. But remember, you gotta be subscribed. I'll know if you're not. But for me, I think now's the time to push the button and end this all. And right as I was about to, it started raining. Not sure how the ending always ends up perfect, but it always does. Stay notable. See you in the next one.